Hey Pisces, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot doing your your uh, March 16th through the 31st reading. This is not necessarily a love reading. If love comes out, I will certainly uh, talk about it. This will be for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I already have three cards out because I started doing your reading and then the camera froze, so I'm doing it over. Um, what I'm going to do is pull a total of five cards for your reading and um, see what the, these are the most important energies that will be playing out. Everything else is kind of mundane. If it doesn't show up here and does in your life, it's not anything to pay attention to, but these are things to pay attention to. I'll also pull two oracle cards after this to see what you need to meditate and focus on. Okay, um, so. The Page of Swords showed up here, the same as the Aquarius reading. So um, in the first exact same position, whether that matters to you or not, it doesn't, unless you have an attachment to an Aquarius. Okay, so what I want to tell you is, you. all right, this is just coming to me. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you have a teenager who wants to rebel and you are not welcoming the change, but the transformation and the change is happening. And you're not welcoming the change because of their actions. Something's going on with them where they are being very rebellious. They're not doing well. They're, they're just, they're rebelling. And you're trying to keep a tight lid on things or you're trying to keep the ship tight and keep you know keep order around the house but you know this death card is like no uh, death is coming in and saying this 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 child of yours is going through some teenage rebellion is going through some major change you're trying to put a stop to it you're summoning here the death card to come back Death wants to make its way, and it's. Not, and I know you guys aren't stupid. I know death is not death. Uh, death is transformation. It's not necessarily change. Let me clear that up, um, because change is going from one thing to another. This is growth. This is transformation. And death is like when death comes as a major arcana. Death rules the whole reading. So basically, death is saying no. This change is happening, and with this Queen of Swords. You know, you could be in this energy here where you're summoning. You're saying, no, 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 turn around, come back. You can't. I know that, you know, my child is acting like this and is reacting to everyone or is doing these things. And I don't want, you know, I want them to stop doing that, but I, I'm not ready. Okay. Now, that's a very small message for some of you. Okay. But I will say individually, um, watch out for... Um, harsh communication with someone during these two weeks. We're also in Mercury retrograde, so uh, there's somebody waiting at the ready. There's somebody watching you. They're stalking. They're watching your social media. They're spying on you. Um, they're they're watching to see what you're going to do. They have their guard up. This person may be in kind of like attack mode in some way, but they're harmless because they're very childish. So the things that they do are just childish antics. So um, I don't feel like you're really going to focus too much on them but just be aware of the presence okay now the queen of swords can represent air aquarius libra gemini can also represent virgo i feel now either this is somebody else in your life male or female um, who is going to give some harsh communication does want to talk to you this person does want to speak to you um, but they're going to be very truthful in the in the words that they say okay and then there's major transformation also happening individually here. Let me and let me pull a couple of cards for the Queen and the Death just to see what's up with them. What is going on with this Queen of Swords? Why is she significant to Pisces during this March 16th to the 28th? Please show me, Spirit. Why is why is the Queen of Swords significant? Okay, the Empress. So some of you, this is your mother. Or um, somebody gets pregnant and the Queen of Swords is mad or angry about it. Or you do. Um, and the Queen and you go to you go to this Queen of Swords to talk to get some clarity about something. Okay, um, this can also have to do um, with birth. 
new beginnings happening. Um, some of you are either going to college, going back to college. Some of you are thinking about traveling. There is a possibility of um, there's fertility issues possibly happening here for some of you. Um, you may need, you may be thinking about some type of surgery. Maybe you're pregnancy and there's a C-section coming up or there's an energy of, um, you know, I'm picking up someone may have a cyst on the ovary or nothing major. It's just some like complications, reproductive complications as well. Um, but definitely some fertility and having a discussion about surgery about that as well. Okay. Um, that's for some of you. There's also some of you who are just having discussions about surgery and need your mother there or want your mother there or you're thinking about your mother or you need to know that she'll be there with you through this, okay? This major transformation that's happening, this transition happening in your life, okay? Major change. Some of you are older and you're, you're dealing with perimenopause or menopausal issues, okay? And you're, you're having to deal with these issues right now, okay? Um, death card is saying you're at the end. <laughs> Um, you're not at menopause yet, but you're like, you're just about there. Maybe some of you are going to finally get your last period during this time. Um, and if you're a male, this might be happening for your, your significant other, okay, or someone close to you. Uh, let clarify death, please. Okay, waiting for news, waiting to see if the surgery takes. There's also um, waiting for change to happen, um, waiting for communication about some changes significantly on its own not related to this stuff this could just be that there's something transitioning and happening in your life during this time and, and or you've been waiting for something to happen and it's it's coming now during this time okay there's also scorpio energy here there's also libra taurus energy here as well okay there's definitely um, if you're waiting for a Scorpio to come back in, I feel like you're going to hear from them. And if you're waiting on some news or something to do with a Libra or a Taurus, there will be communication with them as well. Okay. The Scorpio though is just kind of going through some type of transition and, uh, him, him or herself right now. So there is an energy of just, they're on their way. You just have to wait a little longer. Okay. Um, the next card you have is the High Priestess. I always, that is a Virgo card, but I always feel like that's your energy. I always feel like Pisces is there. I don't know why. Um, you know, there's, she's got the key. Your intuition, you're trusting your intuition right now. There's something, there's some kind of a secret that you're not telling anyone. Okay, this could be related to this or it's just, uh, isolated. Okay, you're holding on to some kind of secret within you that you're not telling anyone some of you are tarot readers some of you work in the spiritual mediumship or you are you or are you not putting it out there something you're really not putting out there at this time okay um you're also secretly longing for a reunion with someone from your past okay and um thinking about someone for, and this person too i feel is thinking about you the good times the childhood memories um uh, there's a secret you're holding on to, um, Pisces. Is this some person is deep within your heart and you really are going to start thinking, be thinking about them during this retrograde. And there is the possibility that you will hear from them again during this time. This is not, I mean, it could be a friend or a long lost friend or someone you haven't heard from a while. This could be a long lost lover as well. So it really just depends. It could be a Virgo for some of you. Uh, or cancer either way there's uh, I feel like you may actually the past might come to visit you again but in in secret uh, maybe like um, slip a message in your you know inbox or DM you or something like that someone you haven't heard from in a while exes do have a tend to resurface during retrogrades okay and let's take a look at your last card queen of cups okay that's you um i feel like you have to there's a lot of turmoil and stuff going on for you guys during this retrograde you're feeling it pretty deeply because it's in pisces and so with the queen of cups you know coming out towards pretty much the end and after the retrograde i feel like you're finally going to be at peace 
I really do. I feel like whatever has been going on or whatever's happening here, there's just a sense of like stability, emotional stability, calmness, uh, just feeling like, like, I don't want to say normal again, but just no worrying, no worries. Look, here you go. That's what I was talking about. The Six of Swords. Getting yourself out of a turbulent, emotional, chaotic situation that you may have been in, in a for a while. Somebody helping you. Somebody picking you up from the hospital and bringing you home to recover from something as well. Or just in this place of recovering and, and going back to a safe, calm place. Okay, so let's take a look at the Romance Angels. What do they want you to know for love? new love okay a new person has stirred your romantic feelings now you should know too um sometimes even though the card says new per a new person it could be somebody who comes back changed just remember that and they could have there could be brand new love between you okay so i'm just gonna leave that one there uh you just um keep that in the back of your head during this time this could be someone from your past presenting new love to you as well Okay, um, or someone you're currently with presenting as a new, you know, it's like, wow, you're a different person, you know, which stirs up new love within you. What does Pisces need to know from the Ascended Masters, their angel message for their life message during this period of time? Oh, crystals. Some of you have the name crystal. Yeah, look into some crystal healing. That's what I feel like. Focus on that. That's kind of like a little homework. <laughs> so, you know, if you don't have crystals, go s begin to start researching them and, and begin to implementing them into your daily routine. And if you do have crystals, um, you might need to recharge them or you need to um, clean them in some way or you need to do something with them. Some of you, maybe you need to sell them or maybe you need to give them to somebody. Um, or you need to get some new ones, okay? I don't feel, I'm also feeling here, I'm seeing like a seashell too, which is strange. Um, some of you have like a seashell that's significant to you and for some reason. So I don't know what that seashell is all about. You can leave a comment for me. Maybe there's a seashell birthmark, a brown seashell birthmark, or there's like a seashell or something to do with the beach. Very strange. And childhood memories with this unicorn here too. Um, okay, so I'm going to end your reading. I know sometimes these messages come out and it's like, what am I talking about? So I will leave it here. I will see you guys during the, the daily lives, the weekend, and just stay tuned for the monthly loves. They'll be out soon. All right, take care. Bye.